I S U P K. Shalom, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shabbat Shalom. Once again, coming at you with the breaking news. Okay, this is some breaking news that's going on in Yemen, right? Yemen is a is a um, one of the countries on the sub southern portion of um, Saudi Arabia. All right, what's going on in Yemen is once again is the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Let's get to the specifics of what is fulfilling. But first, let's read the article. Yemen declares a state of emergency in Sana'a over cholera. Okay, cholera is a so-called disease. And what does cholera typically come from? Cholera typically comes from unclean um, conditions in or around a country. Right, like, like, um, for example, the uh, waste isn't being disposed of, like, like your urine and your fecal matter, etc., is being disposed of properly. Okay, it typically also comes from not eating. Um, in this area uh, uh, of Saudi Arabia, it's like it's its own country, Yemen. In this area, there's reports of famines. All right, famines and there's wars going on inside of in inside of Yemen. And once again, this is a fulfillment of, of biblical prophecy. All right, we're gonna get going to get into what that is this article is talking about a cholera outbreak but once again we just said cholera stems from many different other things the most important thing is from malnutrition all right there's widespread reports of famine in this country all right dubai reuters officials in the yemeni capital of sana'a controlled by the armed Houthi movement. Now, this Houthi movement, if you know anything about the Houthi movement they are a movement that's been started by many different countries okay Primarily the Americans in, in their fight um, against the so-called Russians. Okay. Declared a state of emergency on Sunday after an outbreak of cholera, which has killed dozens of people. So this disease has taken off full-fledged. Okay. And it's killing, killing the so-called Arabs down there in Yemen. Yemen's health ministry called on humanitarian organizations and other aid donors to help it deal with the epidemic and avert an unprecedented disaster this unprecedented disaster was prophesied by ezekiel in ezekiel the 30th chapter let's get that right now Ezekiel the 38th chapter in the second verse son of man the son of man there here is Ezekiel okay that's his slang for man all right set thy face against Gog the land of Magog Magog all right group of Japhetic peoples which lived in ancient times in the land you now to do now know today as Russia so why did it say the land of Magog because the land of Magog is Russia now, those people that live in Russia right now are not Japhites. Those are Edomites. Okay? But nonetheless, this is a prophecy, meaning this is something that's going to happen in the future to the people in the land of Magog. All right? The chief prince of Meschek. Meschek is the ancient name of um, Moscow. Okay? And Tubal. Okay? And prophesy against him. Verse 3. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, or the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee. Okay, so what are these Christians talking about? He's all love and loves every group of people. The Most High is saying here he is against the so-called Russians. 
Okay, Gog, which you just read up here, the land of Magog, are today the Russians. All right? The chief, let's go back to verse 3. The chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. Okay, let's skip down to, um, let's skip down to, um, verse 9. Ezekiel 38 and 9. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Which is talking about those so-called airplanes and those fighter jets that are in that area right now. The land of Israel and the land of, of Yemen and Saudi Arabia, etc. There's a lot of planes, a lot of airstrikes going on. And that was prophesied to happen in that area in this, in this chapter, what you're reading right now. Okay. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands. Okay, so it didn't. It does. It's saying here. It's not just going to be so-called Russians that are going to be in there. It's going to be all their bands. And what's their bands? Those so-called mercenaries. These those Houthi rebels, which you just read in that in that other article, Houthi, ISIS, etc. All these different these different groups. Okay, with their different names. These are those are those, are those many bands that are in that area. And many people with thee. More more precepts for that. This is, just, was, this is just not talking about the Russians. It's talking about many people that will come with them, with these different groups that will be in the Middle East. What's one of those groups? The group you know today as the Houthi rebels that are in Yemen. Okay? Thus saith, there's ten, thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind. And thou shalt think an evil thought. What's that evil thought that these so-called Russians and these middle people with them are going to think? Verse 11. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. These countries don't have great mili large militaries. When you think of, of great military power, you don't think of Yemen. Yemen is the land of unwalled villages. Okay? And we'll get more proof of that later on. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely. These people dwelt without war, without battle. What were these people doing before the white man got a hold of them? Uh, they were farming, okay, and they were tending sheep, etc. All of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. That's talking about their protection. They didn't have a, they don't have a strong military force because there was no need for it. Verse 12, to take a spoil and to take a prey. And it's like it, to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited. What's that? That's that region of Yemen. Okay, that's completely, de that was, this is a, a desert, but it's now inhabited by people. Let's skip down to get to point. Let's get to verse 13. Sheba. Okay, the, the biblical name, well, Sheba is the land you know today as Yemen. Okay. So it was said he would go into a land of unwalled villages and take a spoil and take a prey. What's going on here in Yemen? They're declaring a state of emergency over cholera. He's weakening this land of Yemen through war and through famine, etc. Okay, Yemen, Yemen is a, is a Sheba in the scriptures. Okay, let's read this paragraph here. Yemen is reeling from conflict between Houthi rebels aligned with Iran and a Western-backed Saudi-led coalition. That's what we just read in the other verse with the um, many bands. Okay, it's going to be many people on one side versus many people on another side. Okay, and that's happening right now in Yemen, in Sheba. Okay, that was prophesied in the scriptures. Once again, this is the uh, this is breaking breaking news using uh, prophecies from the scriptures to prove what's going on in in the world today. Shalom.